Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Shanghai sells 70,847 cars in December and 473,078 in 2021, an 834,000 annual production capacity. Tesla FSD Beta offers new modes to choose the driving style. Tesla unveils refreshed Model S and X with CCS2 charging port in Taiwan. And another Giga Press arrives at Giga Texas. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla reached a new milestone in China, selling 70,847 Giga Shanghai made vehicles in December, 245 of which were exported. This means that the factory already has a production capacity of over 834,000 units per year. In 2021, Giga Shanghai produced and sold 473,078 vehicles. The China Passenger Car Association CPCA, reported on Tuesday that Tesla Giga Shanghai in December sold 70,847 Model 3s and Model Ys, a new milestone for the manufacturer. This reflects a 198% increase over the same period last year, when the factory sold 23,804 vehicles. The data also shows an impressive 34% growth in sales, compared to last month, when 52,859 units were sold, a significant increase in such a short time. Thus, in just one month, Giga Shanghai was able to produce and sell 17,988 more units than in the previous month. It should be kept in mind that production and sales figures may have some differences. Production data for the factory in December is not yet available. Given the sales data, it can be assumed that Giga Shanghai was producing about 2,285 vehicles per day in December. Thus, as of the end of December 2021, the factory has already achieved a production capacity of more than 834,000 units per year, which is a very good indicator. At the moment, Giga Shanghai is in an active phase of expansion, which means its production capacity will be increased even more in the coming months. In November 2021 alone, Tesla invested $188 million to expand, which will employ 4,000 more people. Summing up the sales data for 2021, we see that Giga Shanghai was able to register 473,078 Model 3s and Model Ys. Thus, the factory developed so quickly that in its second year of operation, it alone was able to produce and sell almost as many cars as Tesla did in 2020, using all facilities in the US and China. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD Beta offers new modes to choose the driving style. Tesla FSD Beta provides new driving profiles for how the car will act while driving. Drivers can now select from the chill, average, and assertive modes to choose the driving style that is most comfortable for them. The new FSD Beta update has brought many improvements, and one of them is the emergence of a choice of driving style in which the car will ride. Drivers now have a choice of three styles, chill, average, and assertive, to perfectly match the driving habits of drivers. This feature was previously available, but the company is blocking it since version 10.3 in October. FSD profiles affect how the car will react in various driving situations, like rolling stops, speed-based lane changes, following distance, and yellow light headway. For example, the description for the assertive profile indicates that the car will keep a shorter distance to the vehicle in front, perform more frequent lane changes, may perform rolling stops, and not exit passing lanes. In chill mode, the car will therefore drive more carefully, keep more distance from the vehicle in front, and make fewer speed lane changes. In average mode, the car will maintain a balance between chill and assertive driving, providing a comfortable driving style for a lot of drivers. Moving to the next update, Tesla unveils updated Model S with new headlights, taillights, and CCS charge ports. Tesla has unveiled an updated version of the Model S recently, with new headlights, taillights, and CCS charge ports. Tesla started producing a refreshed version of the Model S just six months ago, 
with a completely new interior, refreshed exterior features, and updated powertrain. That's why it was surprising to see a new Model S prototype already spotted being tested by Tesla last month. As we noted at the time, the prototype seemed to have new taillights and a slightly modified backend, with also a bigger charge port. We suspected that this could be a new version of the Model S, meant for international markets, with some of the design updates likely to make it to the North American version, which is currently the only one being delivered. Sure enough, Tesla unveiled in Taiwan recently a new version of the Model S, featuring those changes and more. It's the first time that the new Model S is shown in an international market other than Canada. Generally, Tesla will introduce the European or Asian version of a new car, or in this case an updated version of an existing model, with the appropriate charge port, but this time it also made some other changes. Both the headlights and taillights are brand new. The new headlights appear to also be matrix projector headlights, like the ones found on the latest Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. The back end of the Model S has also been modified. Tesla has removed the trim over the license plate for a more simple and streamlined look. At the same time, Tesla also unveiled the new Model X, but it didn't feature the same changes other than the CCS port. These new vehicles are expected to be the new Model S and Model X that Tesla will deliver to international markets with the CCS standard. The design changes are expected to also make it to the version of the Model S made for the North American market, since Tesla produces all Model S vehicles in the Fremont factory. The only change that might not make it to the North American version is the bigger charge port to support the CCS connector, which is bigger than Tesla's proprietary plug. Moving to the last update, another Giga Press arrives at Giga Texas. With the official opening of Giga Texas, expected to be just days away, crews at the factory have taken delivery of another important piece of Tesla's car manufacturing puzzle. On Tuesday, the parts to yet another 6,000-ton Giga Press arrived at Giga Texas, marking what is believed to be the fourth casting machine to arrive at the factory. The wooden IDRA boxes with the signature blue coverings were spotted in a drone flyover at the factory recently by Jeff Roberts. Four Giga Press machines already outnumbers the number found at Fremont, which houses two of the casting machines at the north end of the factory. The fact that one has arrived recently will not impact the factory's opening, as the Giga Presses that have already been installed can more than handle the factory's initial production output. While this is definitely exciting news, everyone is still waiting for the 8,000-ton Giga Press to arrive. In case you aren't aware, that is the one that will be used to build the Cybertruck. Production at Giga Texas should start in just a number of days, and the first car to roll out from the factory would be the new Model Y. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.